welcome to Scrap Time. My name's Christine, and in this video, I am going to be reorganizing all my stencils, and I want to share my process with you. So I want to start by showing you how they're currently organized. So these are my six by six stencils, and you can see it's getting a little out of control. They're all just hanging out. Um, I like the idea of having this little scrapbook album, but I sort of outgrew it. I have piles of stencils. I have them layered on top of one another. And so I have to go through, I have to um, get rid of some, purge some of them, and then reorganize them. So you can see I have a lot of stencils just hanging about in this album. So those are my six by six and a bit bigger stencils. And then my 12 by 12s were currently in this magazine folder or holder. And what I had tried to do was between each stencil, those are just shoved in there. Between each stencil, I had tried to put a little divider, a piece of paper, and then another stencil in there. But that only works once. And then when you use them, they all get shoved back together. And I found I wasn't able to really see what I had and as I go through, I have some stencils I've barely even used. Some I've used a lot, and other ones barely touched because I probably forgot I even own them because of the way I have them stored. So again, I'm going to take all them out, lay them all out, purge, and then reorganize them in a new system. So I'm gonna start with my smaller stencils, basically six by six with some tag size and a bit larger. And what I've done is I divided them all into different sections. So here, these are all stencils that are like texture stencils. These are all my circle stencils. Then this would be sort of like repeat patterns. So not so much texture, but actual patterns. This one is what I refer to as elements. So like I may use the bird or there's a dragonfly. And so they all have little elements to them that you might add. This was sort of, I only had a few, so this would be like a final little flower or butterflies. And then I just had, um, this is a stitching template and some words. And then this one is like big flowers and all my doilies. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'll work through each pile individually. And I'll look through them to see, do I have things that are similar? So I'm gonna start, to, these are all circles. So I have this stencil that's like Punchinella. These stencils I had actually made a while ago and they're different sized circles. So I might keep those just because I did make them. That's also part of what I made. Then these are tiny little circles. This is a repeating circle. A bigger circle. This is like one of those ones that do that. Those are tiny circles in a grid. These are a bit bigger circles. And so when I sit here and I look at all my circles, I'm like, well, even though they're all circles, they're all sort of different. So, you know, I'm not doing myself much good here. I'm going to keep all my circle stencils. But this is what you should do is each pile, lay it out and see, is there similarities? Is there differences? Um, do I need to keep that? Do I use that? With circles, I'm always using circles, so I'm not concerned about not using them. And then work it out, and maybe you'll be able to get something out of each pile. So I'll continue on my own, um, going through each pile and see if I can purge anything. So I've gone through all my piles, and I wasn't the best purger. I have three. <laughs> so I have this stencil in the 12 by 12 version and I find that the image fits better um, on my project. So that's why I'm getting rid of this one. I have this one that I never got around to opening and so therefore I feel I wasn't in a big uh, hurry to use it. So I'll get rid of it. And I have this one where I like the one shape that I did use, but the rest, I don't really use these shapes often. So I thought, okay, I might as well get rid of that one. And then I'm left 
with my pile here ready to be put into its new organizational album. So now I have my larger stencils, typically 12 by 12 with some 8 and a half by 11s. And I did the same thing. I've divided it into ones that are sort of texture based, ones that are pattern, ones that have elements. And then these ones are, again, stencils I made and there's shapes and borders and circles and stuff. So I'm going to go through each pile and see out of the piles what I use, what I don't use. Um, and then I'll show you what I end up with. So I've gone through and organized my 12 by 12 stencils. This is the pile I'm keeping, still lots of goodness there. And these are the ones I've decided to purge. I'm gonna move this. So this was a vintage doily. It's made out of plastic. And I actually had two of them, so I thought I don't really need to keep two. So I'm gonna get rid of it. This one, I have the smaller version of it, and I find these spaces are just too big in that, and so if I to use the design, I would use the smaller. And that's usually pretty much the same for a lot of these. I have this smaller, which I would prefer. Um, if I was doing maybe like scrapbook layout to that, maybe I would use this stencil, but it's too big for the size I work on. I love this stencil, but again, I have it smaller and I prefer all these elements in the smaller version that I don't really use the size often. The same with this. I like my texture to be tighter together. And this dragonfly, I have used it before, but it is quite large. Same thing, I have it smaller and I just think these elements are too large for the size I work in. And then this one as well. I love this stencil and I have it shrunk down because if again, if I was doing a scrapbook layout, then maybe I'd want this size. So it's good too in learning the size you like to work in. So when you're ordering stencils in the future, you know that, oh, that's a really big image. I'm not going to use it. So this is what I have um, purged from my 12 by 12s. And next I'm gonna put them into their new organizational binders. So I decided to store all my stencils in a scrapbook album. Now I like the binder albums because uh, you get a lot more space than the uh, other bound ones. And then it also allows you to move your pages in and out really easily. So I decided to put these two stencils together because they were similar. But otherwise, I just put one stencil on each page. I put a piece of uh, 12 by 12 paper on it in each pocket so I can put a stencil on each side. And I sort of put like my circles together. And then I moved into some different textures. Now I kept both of these writing stencils because when I looked at them, this one had larger and you can see the words more, whereas this was more, you can tell it's script, but you can't really read it. So depending on the look I want to go to, they were different enough that I decided to keep both. And some of these stencils are quite old. And so the thing with stencils is you can keep them for a very long time. Um, and so if you see a pattern you like, I would just buy it because within six months, new stuff is coming out and you may not be able to get that again. So this was, uh, here's the big one. I had purged the little version of this. So you can see there's a bigger version of this that I think is more size appropriate for what I work on. And then I have like standard shapes. You can always use a heart or circles. This is another really old stencil clocks and I know a lot of people love it and now it's you can't get it anywhere. So that's the thing too is if you see something you like, hold on to it. And then I have a few different of these big flowers. And so previously, you know, I was saying I don't like the really big pattern, but as you can see over here, a lot of times I'll just use a corner of it on a project. I won't use the full flower or I can just even just use that flower in the middle. And they were all three of them were different enough that I decided to keep them. Here's that doily that I got rid of. I have the second one of it. And then some hearts and cats. I have uh, one set of masks that I decided to keep. You never know when I want to mask off something. 
These are some borders I had uh, made a while ago. Some more different size circles. And then I had cut some circle masks a while ago as well. So those are the stencils I kept. I've got lots of space still for new stencils because you know we're always getting something new and I may not purge more for a while. But I'm hopefully this will work a lot better for me in terms of being able to see what I have and being able to then using the stencils I may not have used so often because now I can see them better. So next I'm gonna show you my six by six stencils. So finally, the last part is I have my six by six stencils in its new storage system. Now, if you look at the old storage system and look at the new storage system, you can tell I was really in need of a new system. So this binder is full and even though it's full, I still have put some stencils together in the same pocket. Here I have those three that came together, the ones I made together. So I'm thinking I may still need more storage unless I really wanted to purge some more and I, I don't know if I'm ready to do that. So otherwise I've put these all in here. As I said, these are six by eight. This is a snap binder with the full pages. And it's also good for like your tall stencils. It fits fairly well in there. Even my older Diane stencils. So it's nice that it wasn't just a six by six album. By having those two extra inches, I'm able to put a lot of different stencils in here. This one sticks out a little, but it's fine. Won't make too much of a difference. And I tried to divide them into similar patterns. So here I have like my flower designs. And then my sort of doily mandala designs, lace flowers. So now that I have it in this system, here I had to put all my sort of butterflies and that together. Um, it allows me to see my stencils easier and realize which ones I've used and which ones I haven't used and go back and then see like, ooh, I really like that design. When things aren't so crowded in with one another, you can't really see what you have. So now I'll be like, oh, I haven't used these stencils yet. I should do that. And I think I have one extra page. And then this stencil, it's too wide for this page. So I'm contemplating I may put it in my larger album, but I just shoved it here for the time being. I have one extra page to play with. I have a couple stencils I haven't put away. So there you have it. I've put all my 12 by 12 stencils in a large binder and then the six by six and the six by eight snap album. And now I feel I'll be able to use my stencils a lot more and see them a lot more clearly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.